What's going on everybody? It is I, Strix, back at it with more Marvel Snap, and today I'm playing my Tricks to Teens deck uh, for two reasons. Number one, uh, there was the recent update uh, featuring your boy Loki. He is now a 4-5. And number two, I got the variant of Moon Girl uh, with the dinosaur costume, so I wanted to play because both are featured in this deck. So I wanted to see how much of a tremendous change uh, having Loki at a 3-5 does to the meta game, so I wanted to check that out. Plus, again, like I said, I got the really cute looking uh, Moon Girl costume variant, so yeah, do want to do that too. So let's see here. Yeah, so this deck is pretty consistent along the board. Like, we have all your basics you got Snow Guard, you got Collector. It looks like that's what I'm dealing with, sort of. So we're gonna see how that works. So, yeah, like when the last update came up, I wanted to see how much that was gonna affect everything and let's see how it goes all right Attilan uh, is gonna get denied because of a uh, snow guard Hawks ability so we're getting that there and now Crimson Cosmos is now open for me to put my collector down I have a Shadow King which I'm also gonna use to kind of knock his collector down a, a notch okay Mobius is here this is pre update Mobius so he's still ongoing uh, I don't think that's affecting me too much, but let's see. There's your boy Loki, a 4-5. So Loki, again, is still uh, more of a support character to other cards, um, to a collector. Okay, it looks like we're having issues already with the Cosmo thing, and collector's moving over, so... Gotta figure out... Not, I can't play Loki anymore, because it's not gonna be worth it, so... He can't, he can't even activate his ability. So we're gonna use, uh, oh, actually I could have, I just realized I could have played Loki there. Uh, man, I, I had a better opportunity to use Loki there. Eh, it's okay. You know what, hindsight is 2020, but uh, I still won anyway. So we're not gonna complain. We're gonna be grateful. We're gonna take the victory. But now I see that I, there are slight advantages to the, to the Loki nerf. All right. We got here B I C R 19. Okay. Let's see what we got here. All right. Ooh, Elysium costing everything minus one. Oh, we like. Now we can play things for free like these two. All right. And he's got Invisible Woman. Every time I see Invisible Woman, I automatically think uh, discard. Hella carrier discard. So let's see what we get. Maria bringing in the Falcon uh, to assist. Actually, that might not be a bad card to use, but um, we're gonna keep building our hand here. First cable, we're gonna snatch a card. Ooh, he's got Giganto! I'll take Giganto. All right, and I'll get two more cards with Snow Guard. Okay, Electro, interesting. See, when I think Electro, I think uh, Sandman or, and for me, I would think uh, Galactus right there. Who knows, truly? Let's see what comes down the line. There's Moon Girl! And I'm going to play her, and I'm going to play Snow Bear, so that way I can utilize Tinker's Workshop's energy gift once again. So there we go. Moon Girl doubling up my hand. So now I have two 414 Gigantos. So that's nice. Alright, so there's one Giganto. See, now, I, now that I see that he has Giganto, that makes it even more clear. He definitely has... Um, a discard, a uh, high discard helicarrier deck. So let's see. Let's see what it does. Uh, we're not sure quite yet. So, first, we got Nick Fury's coming down the line. He's got Magneto. He's going to pull in a Snow Bear. Okay. Final turn. Okay. It could be, it could be a, a very hectic thing. Got a full board, got a strong left, but who knows truly? If this will work out. Okay, first, negating everything. All right, this is the board. Now let's see what he's got. Remember, it cost minus one too, so he could have, okay, there's a MODOK. Oh, it could very well be, oh, that's a lot of big cards. There's Hela. Oh, no. There's Onslaught. And there's Tribunal. Oh. Mm. Very good. You know what? I can't even can't even get mad at that. 
because that was a good that was a pretty good match. Man, he had it planned from the beginning, my defeat. All right. You know, you can't win them all, right? You truly can't win them all. So it's okay. Just be grateful that you're able to... It's not about winning or losing. It's about game playing. That's how they say it, right? <laughs> God, I'm still sick. Why? All right. <clears throat> okay, we got Quinjet down. We got Asgard at the ready. All right, here's Jeff. Turn three... Okay, so right now, this game I haven't really done, uh, done a lot of collecting or a lot of uh, Loki nonsense, you know? Okay, now Jean Grey is gonna make things complicated. Just a tad. All right, oh, Asgard's gone. Well, that's pointless now to deal with. But now Jean Grey is gonna be a bit of an issue, but I do have lower cost cards to play, so we're gonna do that. First, Maria, gonna pull in Okoye. Okay, we could work with that. Cable, gonna steal one of your cards. Okay, he's got a Forge, good. Forge has been kind of annoying. Okay, Hulkbuster attaching himself to, luckily for him, the Human Torch. Because that could mean a lot of different options for him. <clears throat> All right, excuse me. There's Forge, and he's gonna power up Stature. One of the cards that I got from Agent Coulson. Okay, interesting. Lockdown Titan with uh, Professor X. So let's see. All right, good. We've won at least Los Diablos, unless, unless, let's see. <clears throat> Excuse me, oh my God. I really hope I get over this cold soon. There's a Koye that I'm grabbing, ta -ta and Legion. Interesting. Yeah, it seemed like a lot of last ditch efforts on his part, didn't have a lot to go with. Uh, neither did I truly, but you know what? It's fine, this works out. So, yeah, you know, ups and downs, but good nonetheless. 